Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web for another classic Western film. Here on Westerns on the Web, we believe that Westerns are timeless, that these classic Westerns, that these older ones are timeless entertainment fit for the whole family to see, and they have a lot of good values and lessons to teach. And that's why we're sharing them. Westerns on the Web has literally thousands of Western films in our archives that we're planning on sharing, and some of them are extremely rare films. Kick your boots up, relax, get ready for another action-packed Western, and we'll see you after the show. souls during their westward march of empire builders, not only from the elements, but from the Indians, who were savage and unrelenting in their attacks on the white invaders. shoulder draw to let a six gun do his talking. The lead conversation brought law and order wherever he must marshal. And so Bill Hickok made enemies. But in the boom town of Deadwood, South Dakota, Wild Bill was tamed. Bill always sat with a wall behind him, but this night he was fated to overlook all caution and his back was to a door. Jack McCall came in, but the instinct of the gunfighter almost triumphed over death. His gun was drawn, thumb had cocked the hammer, his cards were neatly stacked, he had held two pair, and so it was from then on, aces and eights were called the death hand. Cast in the same mold was another, who, however, unlike Wild Bill, never carried a six-shooter, preferring to let agile fingers do his talking. From the Missouri to the Rockies, he was known as Gentleman Tim Madigan. And these are eights that spelled death 
For Wild Bill wrote a different fate for Gentleman Tim. It's a long way, Tim, from Deadwood Gulch to here. I hope my reputation hasn't preceded us. Anyway, we'll go in and see what this town has to offer. chance. Think of those chips as music to my ears. Ah, lucky day. Reputation has preceded me. Such is the price of fame. That marshal ain't exactly flattering. I'll give you a break, Spanish. The money's in pot. Three queens. Three kings. You don't object if I sit in here, do you, Morgan? Clearing up some titles on a mining deal. This is no limit. Not too big for you. Just right. What do you do? Pass. I open it. Oh, I'll stay. I'll raise five, ten, twenty. I'll see it. I've got no business. Might as well trail along. Cards. Two. Well, I was always taught in a case like this to draw one card. Two to the dealer. Gonna cost you just fifty more. I'll just call that Aces and Eights. Mister, when you dealt yourself that pair of aces, you forgot and dealt me three. Are you suggesting that I'm cheating? Well, there are five aces on the table and you're dealing. Put that iron to bed, mister. You and I have got some talking to do. We certainly have, seeing that my money's in the pot. 
Hello, Tim. Well, Marshal, we meet again. Yeah. You boys do your talking outside, and then both of you get out of town pronto. Just as you say. We're entitled to Tim's stake, ain't we? Go ahead, help yourself. But make it honest. All bets are off. <laughs> I was gone before that happened. I broke. When I told you to stay out of Nevada, I meant it. I'm interested in some mining property at Roaring Gulch. I had to come across the line to fix up some deeds. In future, do your business in California. Sam Marshall, who was that man just went out? That's gentleman Tim Madigan. Mister. Let's get down to cases. What's the idea of making a monkey out of me? You're a disgrace to our dishonorable profession. I slipped in that extra ace because I caught you dealing from a stacked deck Spanish boy's money away from him. How did you see me? I'm pretty fast. Not fast enough. And although it's against my principles to cheat, you palmed off an ace on me. I guess we can accept that marshal's invitation now. You cheated me, senor. Trying to crawfish, huh? It's bad enough to lose when the play is fair. Nobody squawks when he's the winner. I have never before, as you say, squawked at losing. What do you want of me? I'll trouble you for my money. It's a tin horn. Yeah, and he's been robbed.
slug went right through him. A 45. The six shooters are 45, too. Looks like he was shot with his own gun. There's only one man I know who can tear a deck of cards four ways. I want gentleman Tim Madigan. My name ought to be pretty well known around here before long. Who did you murder and when? I don't seem to remember. And I'm not going to hang around Nevada to find out. Ouch! Boxcars! It's an unlucky day! And the dice never lie. Much. Well, we're separating here. I'm crossing over into California. Did you hear about the gold strike at Roaring Gulch? I'll meet you there the first of the month. Well, hasta la vista. Looks like Madigan's horse. That sure is. Come on. Well, I, I guess that's the end of Gentleman Tim Madigan. Anyway, he skipped out of Nevada over to California before he cashed in his chips. <laughs> well, if you're asking me, he's a pretty live corpse. Well, he may be safe for a while, but I've got him tagged so that I'll get him in California or Kingdom Come. I'm getting on that card sharps trail right now, and I'm not coming back alone. documents here that will open Hernandez's eyes. <laughs> Joe Springer says they'll even fool a Philadelphia lawyer. Good. Come on into my office, Ace. Eh? Who's that? 
I don't know. Showed up yesterday. I guess he's hoping to get his yellow lead without using pick or pan. From your look, you are. Yeah, we have. But I ain't craving to renew our acquaintance. Just yet. Well, looks like luck is changing your way again, Spanish. Perhaps this time, senor, my luck will hold. I've been hoping that I'd meet up with you. Give me your gun. You know I never carry a gun. The tin horn you took out of the last chance was shot better than a mackerel. You can't do anything about this in California. Oh? I got myself deputized. Put out your wrist. I didn't shoot that gambler. I had an argument with him, but that's all. Are you sure you didn't use a little Derringer? Not even a little Derringer. And if you didn't kill the tin horn, why did you take the shortcut out of Nevada? To save my neck. First I knew of it was when I saw your advertising. And the miners in Nevada don't care much about the law. Now I've crippled my horse. Well, I know you won't mind if I change and take yours. Now, I'm going to pay you the courtesy of trusting in your honor. Don't pick that up until last time I'm gone. And I hope we won't meet up for a long time. I don't remember any of them pigeons fluttering around Roaring Gulch. The patrol is only six months old, and I'm very proud. Although organized by Americanos, they have elected me, Felipe Ricardo Rodriguez Hernando de Lopez, their captain. How about having your pigeons scatter these or as soon as you sign your name to them? Uh, my friend, your wish is a command. I will scatter them, me, myself, in person. I hope this isn't an example of California hospitality. It wasn't there when I rode out to meet you this morning. Looks though it's about time for me to change my identity. From now on, Tim Madigan becomes Tom Harrington. Well, I wish you the luck of the Irish. And I'll probably need it. <laughs> but I don't think I'll ride into Roaring Coast. I'll ride into town and see what's what. Well, good luck to you.
Buenos dias, amigo. Good afternoon to you. Perhaps you don't remember me. I remember you very well, but why do you call me friend? When you slipped that fifth ace in the deal and exposed that card sharp up in Nevada, you did me a good turn. What makes you think I did that? I wasn't dealing. Well, I... I... I just guessed it. That game taught me a lesson. I hope it did you, too. Well, I hope what you did for me didn't get you in any trouble. Forget it. Maybe you learned that only easy marks play for high stakes with strangers. The marshal told us your name after you left for the gambler. That reward would give you a good stake at the gold dollar. I don't believe you did this. Thanks. Goodbye. Just a minute. The rancho of Don Hernandez lies just over the valley. It's his habit to welcome the traveler. A very pleasant Spanish custom, which unfortunately I have nearly forgotten. No one will ever think to look for you at the Rancho Hernandez. Adios. Adios. I do not understand, senor. The Rancho Hernandez has belonged in my family for generations. This document proves what I say. It doesn't prove anything now. I went to the capital and checked up like I said I would. It'll take years, maybe, to straighten out the deeds and transfers involved in the original grant. And what must I do to keep what little I possess? Um, $25,000 in gold will satisfy the parties who bought this claim, including the land on which the Haciendo stands. It is a great deal of money. Come in, amigo. I'm a stranger. I have quite a ride ahead of me tomorrow, and I wondered if I might spend the night here. Perfectly willing to... Welcome to Rancho Hernandez. I am Juanita Hernandez. Come, I will take you to my father. Thank you. I will have the money by next Tuesday or give up the Rancho Hernandez for this pledge. I would much rather deliver a quick claim on Tuesday. Who is the young man in the picture? My son. He has not been home in years. I do not know where he is. Well, good day. And good luck. Hasta la vista, amigo. Someone waits, Father. You are welcome, senor. Thank you. <laughs> Perhaps you have some baggage? Well, only my saddlebags and blanket roll on the horse. I will look after them. Father. Did you receive good news from Senor Morgan? It is as I expected. The documento is not sufficient proof. You have met my brother, perhaps, in your travels? Oh, no, senorita. I've never met your brother. Your horse will be fed. I'll show you to your room. Well, this is very pleasant after a hot, dusty journey. The only dust in my house is on that little jar. 
La Copa d'Oro. The cup of gold, eh? Yes, it is for those who stop by the way and might need a little help. Saves them the embarrassment of asking for it anyway, doesn't it? You know, you Californians are very generous. It is nothing. And you can see by the dust it is long since anyone needed a coin. I can think of a lot of places where a cup of gold wouldn't get much chance to gather any dust. It is the custom that only the needy touch La Copa d'Oro. Not even a thief would pilfer the money. Refresh yourself, senor. We dine in an hour. Thank you. that's worth a fortune if Hernandez manages to raise that money. Don't worry. He'll never redeem this place. But suppose he does. Yeah, we can fix that. How? You know that boy that hangs around here, the one they call Spanish? Yeah. That Hernandez's son, Jose. Oh, I begin to see what you mean. Better get to work on him. Don and Andy's son when we met in Nevada. Shake hands with uh, Amos Harden. He owns the gold dollar. Glad to know you. Your dad's a friend of mine. You drink to this meeting. No, senor. Whiskey is worse for me than cards. You playing on hard luck again? Yes. Yeah. Andy Hernandez is a friend of mine. Here. Your credit's good with me. Just sign this and give it to the cashier. Better luck this time. You see my father. Don't tell him you saw me. Of course not. How can I ever thank you for this? Don't try. You've been so very kind to me, I wish I could stay longer. Perhaps we may see you soon again, if you should pass this way. I'll never forget your hospitality. My father asked me to wish you well for him. He rode late last night to his brother in Capistrano. And your own brother? You haven't seen him for some time? Please thank your father for me. And thank you. Tim, the marshal's in town. I've got a date at the gold dollar. And if I'm not on the highway at 3 o'clock near the Rancho Hernandez, you can make your own plans. No, I'm not asleep. That marshal from Nevada's in town. Well, I'm just thinking of my signature. How can I ever redeem those receipts I gave Senor Harden? Huh? You sure took advantage of his good nature. But he's your friend, too. Don't let the marshal worry you. Or I won't tell a soul what I saw. What do you mean? What I saw you do in Nevada. After that card cheat knocked you down. Jose Hernandez, I want you.
You broke your promise. You talked to them about me to learn my name. Come on along with me. Hey, where are you taking it? None of your business. You're not taking advantage any place. You're forgetting that this town is plastered with your advertising. I told you once before to put away your hard work, mister. Gentlemen, Tim Madigan is in Roaring Gulch. He just left here. Thanks, Ace. You aroused my curiosity. Curious about me? No. About that Derringer. You can put that away now, Ace. <laughs> Why should this pistol interest you? Ace, you were cold decked by that gambler in Nevada. And he's deader now than my Aunt Emma's hopes of matrimony. Are you hinting that I had anything to do with shooting him? Well, I don't recollect that I said anything about the tin horn being shot. Oh. I thought you said he was. Say, what were you doing in the valley, Ace, when I run you out of there? I had to see lawyer Joe Springer in Reno. Hmm. That checks up all right. Well, thanks. Tell me about Madigan. I'll get on his trail right away. All right. You better send one of your pigeons fluttering around the Rancho Hernandez. Because I got an idea that Tim found out something there last night that might interest us. Say, do you think that one of your pigeons could fly across the Nevada line and uh, give this to my deputy? I'm leaving you here. How can I ever face my father and my sister? They want you. Why are you so kind to me after you heard what Ace Morgan said? Go inside, Jose, and never mind what he said. Forget it. can we ever thank Senor Harrington? No man could ever do more for a friend than he's done for me. Hey, you can't stall around here. I thought there was a woman mixed up in this thing somewhere. That Spanish captain has been plastering these things up faster than I can tear them down. Hey, what are you doing? 
You ain't figuring on going back to work, are you? I'll never need that pack again. Oh, you've been square. You never used the money when some tin on tried to beat you. How are you going to be square and gamble? You ain't got religion, have you? Maybe. He's headed for the... I'll trail him and find out. This is a great day for us. My brother and friends at Capistrano have loaned me the money to save our home, and my son has returned. <laughs> Senor Harden is here to see you, Don Hernandez. Welcome to Rancho Hernandez, Senor. A chair, Pedro, and uh, some wine, senor. I can do without either. I own the gold dollar, and I'd like to know what you're going to do about these. Well, just what are these, senor? Nearly $8,000 in promises signed by your son. Is this true? No Hernandez has ever dishonored his signature. There is enough. Help yourself. It's a pity I didn't get you out of the gold dollar sooner. You have returned, senor. I am glad. You must pardon me, sir, but I overheard everything. And I'm wondering if the paying of those notes is going to interfere with your redeeming your pledge tomorrow. This will be our last night in the rancho. Perhaps you will remain with us. Nothing would please me more. May I have the same room? The same room, mi amigo. Thank you.
father. Why not use La Copa d'Oro? This is a surprise. I didn't expect to find any friends here. The fool, they'd only hang us. Now go back home and no matter what happens, keep your mouth shut. Sorry you can't sit in my poker game. Accommodate your craving for excitement. Limits off, boys. Let's me out. Feel me in, Gus. deck and you're dealing half the time, aren't you? I'll see that. And raise it. I'm clean. You don't deserve a break, but I'm going to give you one. I'm betting the works. And if you're not afraid to gamble with a square deck, you'll call me.
I want you, Tim. Marshal, I'm giving Harden a break. And if you're as interested in a square deal as you are in making an arrest, you'll give me one. What's on your mind? I want the gold dollar and everything in it. I'm betting Harden all of my chips against the place, providing he'll play with the square deck. Are you suggesting the house deck is crooked? Everyone in it's marked. Ace of spades. Queen of hearts. Jack of spades. Ace of clubs. Ten of diamonds. Deuce of spades. Tray of hearts. And here's four of a kind. Nine. Four nines. Why, you're loco trying to ring in marked cards on gentleman Tim Madigan. I broke my word when I sat in this game with Harden. I had a good reason for it. But I'm through with cards after tonight. You're free to go till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm trusting you to show up at the captain's office at that time. Thanks. I, senores, will provide the honest deck. Me, myself, in person. How about it, Harden? You can't bluff me. It's a bet. Deal one cold hand after the captain cuts the deck. and eight. You win. Come into my office. I'll give you the deed. He is... Uh, I know. He is super. Ah, we agree on everything. Eh? <laughs> Amigo. <laughs> Indeed, to the gold dollar. You can keep your saloon. I don't want it. All I want is the gold you stole from Don Hernandez by cold decking his son. But you can tell Ace Morgan for me that I'll get back that pledge of Don Hernandez if it's the last thing I do. interested in the gold dollar, but I am. And being partners, I'm moving right in. Come around and see me once in a while, will you? Paul, you're gazing at the new boss of this temple of chance. The drinks are on the house. Well, I... Sorry, I cannot redeem my pledge with gold. When must we leave our home? Oh, you won't have to hurry. I'm sure you can have until tomorrow. Gracias, senor. Where's your father? He's gone. 
But I haven't. You're a little late, Madigan, with the money you stole from the gold dollar. Oh, no, I'm not. I understand you never carry a gun. That's right. Call me those bags. Come and take them. What uh, right can you have to that money? As much right as he has. He stole it. He's not only a card cheat, but a thief. His name is Gentleman Tim Madigan. I'm Tim Madigan, all right. Call me those bags. Give them to him, please. Throw me those bags. What's the matter? It's the American and Morgan. Start riding, Tim. The marshal's headed this way, and he ain't giving you till tomorrow morning. I'm staying. Go out the back way, please. Everything Ace Morgan said is true. I promised myself I'd square accounts, so I'm staying. Well, Marshal, I'm ready, but... You said I'd have till morning. Well, yes. Well, I had to change my mind. You know how it is. I do not know of what he is accused, but he has done more for me than I can ever repay. All right, Marshal. One moment, senors. It's my turn to talk now. You keep your mouth shut. Come on. Wait a minute. I killed that gambler in Nevada. Tim? The day you took my horse away from me, I believed every word that you told me, and I swore that I'd square you. Now, I've just been hounding you to cover my tracks. Where did you hide the Derringer you used? Well, I never had a Derringer. No? I followed the card cheat and asked him to return my money. He knocked me down, and my hand encountered the gun on the ground. I fired and... He fell. Shucks, son. The lead from that gun never killed anybody. But that slug did. And it came from a Derringer pistol. I heard you threaten Jose Hernandez. You said you saw him kill that gambler. And you described the scene perfectly. Do you like a bullet from his pistol? Yeah, sure would help. They are. Those two slugs came from the same smooth bore. All right, Morgan. Let's go. Huh? 
I'll never forget that you kept silent after hearing what Ace Morgan said about me. And you were close to hanging for it, too. Forget it. Ah, lucky day. It is indeed a lucky day for the house of Hernandez. Wasn't that just very enjoyable, wonderful, classic entertainment? And it's timeless. Westerns are timeless. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web. Make sure you check back with us often because we're going to have a lot more Western films for you to view here online for free. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail. <laughs>